Welcome back, everybody, to Orcs Must Die here on Additional Pawns Games. We've been granted the Pounder. Pounder is the first uh, regular, normal uh, ceiling trap that you get throughout the gameplay. Um, got a nice little, nice little animations here, the, the drawings. <laughs> I like that. Um, and this is the arena. The reason I like the Pounder is because this level, this level is a lot of fun. So, now the Order sent me to the fortresses on the western line. It's a dangerous region, but I laugh at danger. And at kittens. They're just so cute. Alright. Funny. So, the arena, named aptly because it looks like an arena. You got two gates, one to the north, one to the west, and two rifts, one to the south and one to the east. We do have this upper area here. Check it out real quick. So you've got this upper area where you can navigate around, walk around, without being in danger of orcs, but really not going to use it much. Um, might place some archers up on the top middle there, but they are vulnerable to crossbow orcs. So this is actually where we're going to start using front loading. Um, it's the term that I use for basically catching as many of the orcs right out of the gate as quickly as possible. Um, we're prob I'm flame bracer, yeah. We're gonna go with the flame bracer, tar, and barricading is absolutely essential on this map. Floor scorchers, again, air walls are gonna come in real handy. Pounders, and we'll do archers just because they can come in handy every once in a while. Basically, what we're going to do is we're gonna barricade so that all the orcs come in one area. So, I'll show you how to do that right here. I prefer to to barricade up this way, so we're going to put the barricades back like this. That's going to leave two. And we'll do three, four, oh, five. The other, it's fine. The There's no sappers team. on normal difficulty, so we're uh, we're okay to just kind of do it like this. Although I do like to position it as far back as possible, just out of habit. So barricade there. And yeah, barricade there, and you see we've spent all our money, which is why it's important to get the cheaper barricades. Let's go ahead and get started here. We'll have the orcs coming out of the uh, northern gate first. So again, front loading, basically we're going to be trying to kill as many of the orcs as soon as they come out of the gate. Um, we'll be putting you know, tar and scorchers. Up there, we'll be using the overhangs, pounders. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is that some of the orcs are carrying shields. Um, this is the first level for shielded orcs, and basically, shielded orcs, they just take an extra hit. Um, they take an extra hit to kill. So, whether you're hitting them with spells, whether you're hitting them with oh, uh, not quite perfect, but we'll we'll just go with it. So. Second level, second round, they're coming out of this western gate again. A little bit of crossbow spam to try and take off any of the... So, there we go, shoot the shield off, headshot them after the roots. So, the, uh, the orcs are, they're pathing, they want to go just kind of to whatever, uh, to whatever portal the train to go to, but they kind of, I guess they kind of wander around a little bit in the middle before they actually get to this little chug point. Um, so we try and pick off as many as we can, reposition this, pick off as many as you can before they, uh, before they show up. Air wall there to help weaken them, tar as well, and crossbow spam for the kobolds. So you can see they kind of wander around a little bit before they come this way. Again, flame bracers make things pretty easy, at least for that choke point. Um, yeah. So I'm considering. Something for your face. Do I do that? Let's back them up. There we go. All right. Some new so, front loading actually becomes more important in uh, Orcs Must Die 2. A um, couple levels there where it's just easier to front load. But 
use a fireball, get rid of these crossbow orcs. But you can see now, basically, any orcs that come through the left side, we're just going to let the traps get them there at the start, weaken them as much as possible. Target the shields, shoot those off. And air wall, doing some good work. No need for the flame bracers, but this is where we start loading things up. Boom. There and there. And we're just going to start putting air walls all around. Again, another flame wall. Along with Scorchers, we're gonna take out most of these four crossbowmen. Target the crossbowmen. Target the uh, shielded orcs. And you can see they're, they're just kind of wandering out, get lost, and eventually they'll get tagged by some of the air walls. Pitch out there, another dead orc there. And we can do... No, can't do any tar there. That's okay. We'll go with air walls. Boom, Ooh, here's boom, a good one. boom. Like that. So as soon as they wander out, they get scorched. And once they get out to this middle area, they're just going to start getting hit by air wall after air wall. So even if they're not dead, they'll be heavily damaged by the time that they get to this little choke point. Tar on top, or sorry, tar on the bottom, counters on top to kill just about anything that'll come through. Flame bracers to take out the rest of them. And that's how I do the arena. I don't know of any strategies to do the arena without barricading. I would find that very interesting um, to see if there were any, if there's anyone who tried doing that. Probably Orcs Must Die 2. I think you can come back to the arena and maybe do something with um, decoys. I know that you're able to upgrade decoys a little bit differently in Orcs Must Die 2, so that might be fun to try that. Archers up top, give us a little firepower, shoot them down. Um, could consider going with one Weavers here in a little bit, just to upgrade our traps. Um, Steel Weaver, of the, especially Death Augmenter, getting the 66% increase on any uh, 66% increase on money gained from orcs killed by traps would be very useful. Obviously, because we're going to be depending a lot on arrow walls, pounders, and our uh, our guardians. So, might consider that here in just a second. But for now, arrow wall there. Cover that part. So let's go there. Present for you. One for you. Basically, one for because you. the orcs come out and they wander so much, these arrow walls. Punish that. Scorchers doing good work. Scorchers taking care of most of the orcs as they come through, and you can see front loading right there. Yeah, we've got the money. Thank you, ladies. So you can see the uh, increase in points already, the increase in magic cash. Whatever it is that they, whatever it is that I get from orcs, um, instead of 15s popping up, you get 25s popping up. So I'm there, so and there, another one there, and there we are. Big boys come to play. Set them on fire. Maybe not my best move. <laughs> Shoot him a little bit and let the pounder finish him off so we get a little extra money from him. But you can see these arrow walls are just crushing the orcs. And any that do make it this far, they just uh, get charged to a crisp. So at this point in time, we've got plenty of money. Not really worried about it. So we're going to set up another. Uh, Front loading area here. That's gonna leave a mark. Something for your face. Scorchers, tar, air wall. Um, and we'll do three air walls so here, here, and here. So you can see you just got red lines all over the place. 
for our air walls. Later levels and uh, and uh, Orcs Must Die 2, you can get grinders. Use grinders on the wall. Those grinders will uh, grinders plus the pounders and the tar make a very uh, very deadly kill box. Grinders take out just about the normal, all the normal orcs along with kobolds, pounders for the big stuff. There we go. And that. End of the arena. That's Five Skull Dance. It's a nice view of the torch as well. Uh, five Skull Dance. Let's take a look at our score. 73,200. We are well under part-time. Uh, again, a pretty good ratio of combat to trap slash minion kills, which is what we want. Take a look at our upgrades. We got 14 skulls. We can buy the pounder upgrade if we wanted to but I think we're going to save our skulls for now. So, that is the arena on Orcs Must Die. Hit like and subscribe if you want to see more. Check out some of the other series going on on the channel. Leave a comment below if you have any tips, any suggestions, any ideas on different combinations of traps to work, use on the arena. So, thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on APG.